It's a little bit late, but we got our pocket box. Alright everybody can see, uh, I'm outside today, it's a pretty nice day out, there's a little bit of a breeze, so I figured hey, let's do this one outside, alright, and of course, it's, it's June, so it's an Apaca month. Now this one is significantly smaller than last month's, but that doesn't mean anything, let's see what the contents are, alright, and we are going to be using our tuk -tuk knife that we got last, well two months ago in our, in our Apaca box. So let's get in this box and let's see what we got. All right, okay, so here we have June 2024. All right, some nice looking stuff in it so far. All right, so let's see here. First up, we have a, we have a laser etched fishtail stubby, which is this right here. And I wanted one of these just because of the sheer simplicity of them. They pretty much, they just got a swivel, they lock down. Usually they're made of wood, this one is clearly not made of wood, this is some type of cheap alloy, cheap plastic. Um, the edge is not very good at all, uh, definitely have to put an edge on that, it does have a, it is, it is laser etched. Um, it, they're trying to make it like almost look like a Damascus, but to me it kind of looks like map um, contour lines. But you know, it, it swivels and it locks in. You just hold it down. Not a, it's not a bad knife to put in your pocket. You know, carry it around. It's, it's a nice PC knife. Um, it's not something that's gonna, it's not gonna cause a lot of fear in people. So it's pretty simple. Okay. And it does have the fishtail handle. It's like a fishtail. Alright. And you can actually close it up like that so that it won't accidentally open also. So you can keep it closed. Um, it does have the if you look right here. Right there how it opens up. Well, right there, when you slide it, it locks the blade in place. So it's not going to accidentally open on you. So, not that I think this would accidentally open on you, but it's it's a nice little safety feature. Alright, we've got a lot of stuff in this box. So, let's see here. Next up, we have the multifunctional camp trout. Now, that's going to be this right here. Now, the funny thing about this is that... If you already watched my other video, my, my gear pack opening, well, gear pack's in us a folding shovel. So I guess that it's, this is going to be two months in a row that items in uh, different boxes kind of mirror each other. Because here we have, um, we have a camp trowel. And this is one of the ones that's got a lot of different tools on it got a pretty nice paracord handle on it um, wrapped pretty nicely got a nice little grippage on there uh, of course we do have your obligatory if you got a survival tool you have to have a bottle opener because you know that's what everyone's doing they're opening bottles in the field so um, you, you have your 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 wrench your hex wrenches you have you have two inches right here then on this side you have centimeters, so you can measure depth. Mainly for like, I'd say like for measuring depth, but you know, you still have this front blade. Um, this right here, I'm not sure what that is. Um, some type of, some type of tool, but I'm not sure what that does. Then of course you have um, a mini saw blade right here. That's not going to do much work, but that might be good for like just cutting like, I would say smaller um like plants that are a little bit thicker you, you know you just soften them real fast 
Um, then of course here, you can I probably hang this. I don't know, but you might be able to use that to pull a nail. Um, it seems pretty sturdy. Doesn't want to bend on me. Uh, this I suppose can be. I don't know, is it a screwdriver. I don't know. But yeah, a nice little camp trowel. And you know what? And, and the thing is, like you know, th this is good for foraging. So when you think about things, you know, when, when you are thinking about things like survival and prepping, something like this is good for foraging food. So, and it does come with, I don't like nylon sheets, but it does come with one. Um, so you can actually store it away properly. Velcro it up. It does have, I mean, not a very good loop because it's going to go on your belt like that and not like this, you know, horizontally, not vertically, but hey. It's a camp trowel. These are nice. They're lightweight. They don't take up much room. So very low profile. So not too bad though. I mean, that, that, that's all right too. Next up. Oh my God. You've got to be kidding me. Whew. Talk about some deja vu. All right. So we got another one of these Baladeos. Um, I'm not going to open this one because this is the third one I've gotten this year. I got a turt. I got the, I don't know if you can see here. They like different colors. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. I only got five to go. I already have the purple. I've got the I've got the purple, the turquoise, and now the red. So, you know, pretty soon I'll have a whole collection of the Baladeo, the Baladeo knives. That being said, this is a sharp knife. The handle is very comfortable. Um, this is not a bad knife. This is a, this is a really good knife. Um, I have the turquoise one. My wife has the purple one. But this is this is a this is a good knife, so I'm not I'm not gonna knock them because this is actually um, very sharp. I don't even need to open it because I've already opened up two of them. Look at those other videos; you can see that. Um, but yeah, that that Baladeo pocket knife. They must, you know whoever makes them must have had like a sale because they're pushing them out. Because Gear Pack already sent me two. This is three. Who knows? Maybe I'll get one from SHTF. No, I doubt it because they got their own knife line, knife line. But anyway, all right, moving on. Uh, oh, a little bit about it. Um, four inches closed and features a 2.88 inch satin finish, 420 stainless steel blade with a groove TPE candle, packaged in a clear and hard plastic tube. So, um, yeah, a little bit about the steel and everything. It's not a bad knife. I mean, it, it's it's pretty good. All right, next up we have the ExoMod Pack Saw, and that's going to be this right here. And this is a Gerber product. Um, I'm a fan of Gerber. Uh, I have several of their multi tools. And in fact, just this month in Gear Pack, we got a Gerber product. We got some of their high quality shears. So I'm not gonna. The only thing that I'm not really a fan of on this one, I can tell you right now, is that it does have like an end here. So like you're gonna, you can only go back so far because it's gonna catch. Um, I guess that's designed to snap and build your kit. Oh, okay. And this sheath is designed so that you can snap multiple tools together. So like different knives, different saws, that's kind of cool. Uh, saw and sheath, full tang, yeah, no shit. Saw teeth, ergonomic grip. We'll put this, we're, we're gonna cut, I got I got some I got some crap I gotta get rid of and cut anyway, so we'll put this side, of, we'll put this side of the test and see how well it works. It does have two set, two rows of teeth. They do look pretty aggressive, so we'll definitely get this opened up and we're gonna check that out. We'll do a I'll do a gear review on, on this Gerber. So we'll actually review this item. We'll use it and uh, we'll give a review on it. Let's see here. Uh, skeletized handle, center for pack on hip carry, full tank construction for proof durability. Okay. All right, next up we have the Lightsaw Rechargeable Bug Out Light. All right, well, rechargeable is always nice. All right, so you got uh, high, low, and strobe. High 120 lumens for 2.5 hours, low 15 lumens for 5.5, and strobe 40 lumens for 3 hours. Uh, batteries of 14,500 lithium ion, 400 mega amp total, 3.7 volts, total charge to 100%. So it should only take 2.5 hours to charge this up. Uh, I'm assuming that it comes with a cord. Yep, the cord's in there right there. So now I, I like rechargeable lights too. Um, and this one, it's very lightweight. It looks like it, it's it's plastic, so it's probably waterproof. Uh, it does have a place to put a lanyard right there, uh, a lanyard hole. 
This right here, 1.8 ounces, very lightweight. Rechargeable battery included. So I think that uh, this right here, this is a nice little light. However, that being said, if you do have a light like this, if you are using this in a survival situation, if you it's part of your bug out bag or something, you're gonna wanna make sure that you pack um, preferably a solar power pack like we've gotten from SHTF before. That way when it comes time and you need to actually charge this, you have the ability to do so. Or even if you have like one of those emergency radios that, that you can charge from, but you're gonna wanna have something that you can use the solar, solar light to charge it so that you can charge this. Otherwise, this is worthless. So, good in the house. In the field, you have to have a separate item to charge it. So that's something else you're gonna be carrying extra weight around to use this, just so you know. But, hey, you know, lights are good. We also got the headlamp from uh, Yuko in our gear pack this, uh, that was last month. So, no, that was this month, we got the gear. No, that was last month. But recently we got a headlamp from Yuko, which is pretty, you know, that was last month from gear pack and that was actually a pretty good item too so all right next up oh i'm not a fan of this i can tell you that right now actually i am i i i, I use things like this on a regular basis but we have a this is really loose we have a 20 in one multi-tool carabiner um pocket tool 20 in one there's no information about it uh let's see here it's packed with numerous, including measuring ruler, right there, bottle opener. As I said, you can't have a, you cannot have a survival tool without a bottle opener, although I don't see it, but. Maybe just that itself. That right there is probably the bottle opener, just opening up the carabiner like that, but. You can't have a multi, you cannot have a survival tool without a bottle opener. For whatever reason, everybody puts a bottle opener on their survival tools. It doesn't make any sense to me. A large nine times out of ten, if you are in a survival situation, you're not opening bottles. But whatever. Alright. Uh, bottle opener, carabiner. You got a box opener, which is well, let's see here. Wire stripper, medium, minimum, small. Nails, wire stripper. Uh, maybe it's just one of these edges of the bottle opener. But all right, then up we do have the medium flat screwdriver, and then basically this twists open right here. And we're gonna have a medium flat screwdriver, as well as a large flat screwdriver. Let's see them right there. Okay. And then it also comes with a razor sharp line cutter, which I believe is this right here in the center, is the razor sharp line cutter. And then it comes with a medium Phillips screwdriver, which is right here is the medium Phillips, over here is the small Phillips. Bicycle spoke wrench, which is right here. This is the bicycle, bicycle spoke wrench. Pry bar, that's the front of there's your pry bar. Nail file, that's your nail file right there. 10 millimeter wrench, 12 millimeter wrench, 14 millimeter wrench, right here. And 5 16 wrench. So you have one here, one here, one here, one here. So you have four wrenches right there. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, it's, it, there's definitely worse things, and this tape is, like, it takes up no room. You clip this on your, clip this on a pack, and you put it, like, on the zipper of a pack. It's not going to take up any extra room, and there's a couple items on here that might come in useful, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, like, the small, you know, the small screwdrivers if you need to, you know, open stuff up, but, anyway, yeah, so there you are. A little gimmicky, but, you know, hey, it's... I've used stuff like this. I use the Sabre card all the time, believe it or not. I actually like the Sabre card, and not a lot of people do, so. All right, last up in the box, we do have the Adventure Logbook. Uh, trip title, journal entry, photos, uh, destination, address, camping site, GPS, 
contact name, cost, uh, pretty much just like a, a list of different tip, trips you take. Um, the ultimate RV, road trip, camping, and travel journal. Uh, not really travel bucket list. Not really too impressed, but my wife and I do want to do some traveling eventually. So, hey, maybe I'll be able to put this to use in a more less survival and more just fun aspect. So, all right. So, there's that. That is all the contents that are like the items. And then last month. We, okay, and then this month we actually do have basically the the um, skill of the month is you use this paracord here, 10 foot paracord, and you're, there's a video you link to down here, and you're going to make this quick release paracord. So basically you take this 10, this 10 foot of paracord, you put it around the handle of your trowel, and so this 10 foot in paracord is that's quite a bit. You can use this to make ridge lines to tie stuff off. So it's not an extra paracord is always good to have, and you just put that extra handle on your on your camp trowel, and you're good to go whenever you need it. So it's not bad. And there's some other stuff in here. Um, Into the wild I go. It's uh. It's a morale patch. Uh, yeah, I, I guess Creek Stewart is starting a patch of the month club. Um, this is actually not cloth. It's almost like a, it's like a plastic. It does have a back on it. Uh, it's Velcro. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna join the the patch of the month club. I know that he. I, the idea behind it, I guess it kind of makes sense because, you know, he, he remembers from his, like, scouting days where, you know, you'd have, like, your different your different patches you'd get, you know, for, for different achievements. So I get it, but I don't know. For me, the old man of the crow adventure to the edge of wilderness. Uh, now available on Amazon. Oh, I guess it's a book. He's promoting his book. The gripping, this gripping tale explores the depths of companionship, survival, and unpredictable force of nature. As the old man and the crow form an unlikely bond, their peaceful coexistence is disrupted when the crow starts bringing back coins in exchange for food. Tempted by the allure of wealth, the old man finds himself drawn into what greed and desire. It sounds like it might be alright. I'm going to give that a look. Who knows? Creek Sun has started a YouTube channel. Hey. River, River, River Stewart. Creek, his name's Creek, his son's name is River. So nice. Adventures of Riverhood. Name's River. So captures the Atlanta. I may, I may check it out. Uh, I have no. I, I mean, hey, I like when people subscribe to my channel, even if they don't watch my videos that often. You know, it helps me. So hey, I'll, I'll subscribe and, and check out some of his videos. And then here's the promotion for his Patch of the Month Club. I wish I'd have gotten that patch. That's it. That's the Apaka box. Um, I think that um, the flashlight is good. Paracord, always good. And they're going to show you how, show us how to make the quick release wrap. That's pretty good. The camp saw, that's, that's good. The camp trowel is good. The Balladeo, I mean, I have two of these already, but that, it, it's, a, it's a good knife. It's a decent knife. Um, this right here, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't have an edge, but... I've wanted one of these ones. I forget if they're like a, it's a French made, a foil, a foil, something like that. Um, I've always, I've always wanted one of these. Now I, I prefer wooden handles as opposed to this plastic, but beggars can't be choosers. So there you go, uh, you know, hey. And then the gimmicky stuff here, not too, you know, it's whatever. But I think for the most part, this is not too bad of a box. Um, you know, you got some useful stuff in here for setting up camp. And uh, you got lights, you got cutting tools, you got cordage. Hey, you got three of the ten right there. So, um, not bad. All right, that's it. Hey, if this is your first time on the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up and hit that bell notification so you know when I do put out a new video. And until next time, keep prepping.